Hey guys, this is Dirk Dallas here with Adorama TV, and today I'm super excited because I have the brand new DJI Mavic Air. I'm gonna do an unboxing for you. I specifically have the Fly More combo, so you will see that there's a few extras. So let's check it out. And here we go. So first thing, looks like we got the carrying case. I know what this is. We got the Mavic Air in here. Okay, we got the prop guards, a whole bunch of documentation. All right, so let's check out this drone. And wow. There it is. So cool, man, this thing is really small. All right, so it looks like we have some instructions right here. Unfold the rear. So it looks like down and out. And these just pull to the side. Okay, going to the other side, down and up and out. So first impressions, this thing is slick, feels sturdy. I'm really impressed with the size. All right, so this first sticker here is letting me know to remove the gimbal clamp. So that comes off pretty nice. Okay, the next sticker here is letting me know how to power on and off the drone. So I guess what's unique is the power buttons on the bottom of the drone. The other stickers I have up here are for the landing feet. So these unfold. And what's interesting about that is not only will it help you um, get off the ground just a little bit, these also have the antennas in them. So you wanna make sure you do pull those out. So let's try to get this battery off. Looks like I have um, an option here to slide this down and then to lift up. So this is uh, a unique battery, obviously different from the DJI Mavic Pro. So you won't be able to use your other batteries with this drone, but you do get 21 minutes of flight time with this battery. So pretty impressive considering the size of that. I have an option here to open this door and inside here is a USB-C and a micro SD card slot. So you can do updates on your drone by plugging in right here and then you can get your drone's uh, card out when you want to load your images onto your computer. It is pretty cool that this does come with eight gigs of internal storage. I know from personal experience that that would have been super handy on some of my other drones when I've taken my drone up and I forgot to put a card in. One thing that I'm really excited to try out is uh, flying this at full speed. It goes 42.5 miles per hour, which is faster than the Mavic Pro. So something this small going that fast should be pretty fun to fly. All right, so let's just do a quick size comparison. I have a Phantom 4 battery, just to show you how small that is. Uh, we have the Mavic. You see it's quite a bit thinner, not as tall. And then compared to the Phantom 4 Pro. So let's compare how it looks to the Mavic unfolded. So all around really impressive. So you can also shoot 4K video at 24 frames per second and 30 frames per second. You can shoot 2.7K video up to 60 frames per second, and you can shoot 1080p video up to 120 frames per second. One thing that I think is gonna be really helpful is the camera now has a fixed focus. So if you've had the Mavic Pro, you know that it's constantly finding focus unless you tap to focus. So I think that's gonna be a welcome feature. We do have two sensors up here in the front. We have sensors on the bottom, and then we have sensors on the back. And what that does is that provides a 3D map of the environment so that the drone can avoid obstacles. And what's unique about the Mavic Air is it has APAS, which is Advanced Pilot Assistance System, which means that it can not only see an object and stop, what it does is it will see an object and then it will fly over or around it. All right, so let's check out what's in the bag. All right, so first we have the controller and cables, I'm gonna guess. Two extra batteries, the charging hub for the batteries, the power adapter to charge the batteries. We got two USB ports here and to 
plug it in. Okay, we got props, more props. We're gonna have cables for connecting Android phones. This is a cool little accessory. You can plug it into your battery and then now you can charge something with USB. And then we have a flat USB to USB-C cable. Okay, so let's check out the controller. It looks very similar to the Mavic Pro controller. What you'll notice right off though is we don't have sticks here. So I'm going to take off this sticker and open these up. And I have two sticks right in here. So I can pop these out and I can just screw them on. So that's gonna be really helpful when you are traveling and you need the controller to be really slim. We have the return to home button, we have a pause button, we have the sport mode, we have a function button, a power button, a camera button, another function button, a record, and then we have the gimbal jog wheel. On the side, we have the micro USB cable. By default, it looks like we do have the Apple lightning cable plugged in. Down here, we have a USB port and the antennas of course, go up. So let's compare this real quick to the Mavic Pro remote controller. So here I have the Mavic Pro remote controller. Here's the Mavic Air. You'll notice that the Pro does have the LCD. The Mavic Air does not. If you have your phone plugged in though, it's probably not gonna be a big deal. But it basically seems to be the same size. So the max distance that you can go with your Mavic Air is 2.5 miles, which is plenty far considering that you do have to keep the drone within line of sight here in the United States. One quick note, as a reminder, I did say that I am unboxing the Fly More combo, which means I got two extra batteries, that battery USB adapter, the charging hub, and extra props. And I did get this travel case, which I can put everything in here. I have a slot right here, and it has a zipper right here. So this thing feels pretty nice. Just like some of the other drones from DJI, you can control your drone using gestures, and it does have DJI's intelligent flight modes. Two special things for the Mavic Air though, is it can do the asteroid mode, which basically is like a tiny planet-like effect, and it can do a boomerang feature where the drone will go up and around a subject and then come back to its starting spot. Okay, it looks like one thing I didn't open was this bag. Okay, so I have some cables to connect to my phone. And then I have two extra sticks in here for the remote controller. And then I have this USB-C to micro USB adapter. Now before I go, I wanted to show you some footage I captured with the Mavic Air and tell you that after a week of having it, I can say it's an impressive drone. I found it to be very quick and super fun to fly. I did notice I kept looking for the exposure dial on the top right side of the controller, but I'm sure I'll get used to using just the app. I would like to see DJI work on making the props quieter and I think they can make the signal strength more robust when you fly far out. Also, I always had trouble removing the SD card. In closing though, I will say I'm surprised how much DJI packed into this little drone. It's so small, yet it shoots 4K video and raw images. I found the footage and image quality to be really good considering how small this drone is and because of that, I can easily see myself bringing the Mavic Air with me wherever I go. Also, be sure to click the link down below if you want to download the untouched imagery that I shot. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in to Adorama TV. Let me know what you think of the Mavic Air down in the comments below. I'm Dirk Dallas, and I will see you guys next time.